Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and today I'm going to show you how to do a semi reset or a reset the HP OfficeJet Pro 8610. This is the one with the no arrows on the side. And of course, if you get a print failure notification saying there's something wrong with the ink system, there's one way to get around it to actually do a reset. Normally, you would press the back button here and it will engage into the uh, system settings, the hidden system settings, I may say. Uh, so to get to it, actually, what you want to do is open up the door, wait for things to come out, and we're going to pull one of the inks. It really doesn't matter which ink you pull, just pull one out, close the lid, and of course the screen will change now, saying one of the inks is missing. Uh, however, it's give us the home key, so we're gonna press the home now. So from here, we can actually press where the back would be. It's usually about four times. Do it slowly until you get the support menu. Once in the support menu, we can go ahead and scroll down where it says reset menu, partial reset, semi full. So we want to do a semi full reset. Press OK. You may have to press it more than once. Here we go. Something happened. So I believe it's doing the reset now. We're just gonna hold it off. The printer should shut down. Once it's off, what you wanna do is go ahead and press the power button until the printer turns on again. A lot of times what will happen actually will even tell you exactly what's wrong with the printer. Uh, but that's not always the case, sometimes it does. I know it did it like once or twice for me where it told me that one of the inks is bad versus the other uh, indication is just that there's something wrong with the ink system. And now we just gotta go through our settings again. And of course it's gonna initialize. Remember, we still have our inks that is not inserted. We want to insert it when we have a chance. With the hopes that it's going to fix itself or at least tell us what's wrong with it. Still doing its thing. Probably peel those plastics, uh huh? Okay, so tell us now to insert the duplexer and of course install cartridges. So now we're gonna open it up and install our inks back in with the hopes that it's gonna check the inks for us and tell us if any of those inks are bad or if the cartridge is bad. So Next, load paper. We do have some paper in here. And we can click next now. So print is calibrating. It checks everything. Hopefully it will give us an error exactly of what's going on here. And see if we can diagnose it and fix it through that. Look at that, it took the paper in. It's doing something. So I'm gonna put the shaking because it's in the box. So let's see what's gonna happen. If it's gonna tell us any problem with it, if it's gonna just work. It really depends. It's 
one way to fix that problem or at least find out what, what's going on. A lot of times it's the ink that just dries out because you weren't using it. So I'm using the original inks right now, but they're pretty old and there could be something wrong with it. So right now it's still calibrating and hopefully it will tell us that the printer's fixed or if there is a problem and we know what we have to do to fix it. Well, this is printing. I just want to let you guys know that if you don't succeed the first time, uh, you may have to reset it once or twice to, uh, until it initiates, uh, either checks it what uh, exactly is wrong with the printer or it would actually fix itself. So right now I think, I believe it fixed itself. Um, but if it doesn't, you know, just do it once or twice or three, even three, four times until you get an error notification exactly if the, one of the inks are bad, if the print head is bad or if something else is bad. There could be a lot of issues with it. So right now it looks like it's doing the calibration fine. It's printing. So I believe it's fixed itself, but let's go through the rest of the process just to make sure. Slime has been completed. Connect to the printer to the internet so it can download OS. And voila, we're back to normal. So if we can check now, it's telling us the inks are full, which I know that's not the case, but that's what it did. It didn't recognize the inks properly. It sort of reset the chips on it to make it work again. So I believe probably the previous one had some kind of issue with the inks where the chips got um, registered and as bad or empty or whatever. So just make sure that using original inks when it comes to that, uh, you don't want to have uh, empty inks running, especially when using aftermarket inks. Replace them if needed. Look at that. It's telling me, let's see. Wow, the inks are really were old, 2017. But for some reason it's telling me that inks are full, which I know they're not, but it's printing properly. So yeah, I'm gonna do a couple more tests really quick and it should be golden. So I hope this solves the issue for you guys. Thank you and see you in the guys next time.